Well, one of the projects that we're having here, of course, is, is these dorms need to be replaced. And uh, we know that the ministry, in order for the ministry to expand, we're having to replace the dorms so that we can uh, expand into other types of ministries that we're wanting to do. Yes, I know uh, we've been uh, in the process of fundraising, I think now going on four years. Uh, it's only by the grace of God these buildings have held as much as they have. We know, we've known that they were coming apart for quite a while. Uh, with your help, again, uh, we should be able to raise the money uh, to be able to fix these dorms. I'm gonna get the strap up here on the, on the edge of the tarp. And this tarp here is an, an addition to, to protect this inner liner here. Uh, we put this tarp on here as an added protection since it started falling apart. So now we're in the process of strapping it down, which we have to do on, on two or three times a week when the wind's blowing. And it's a lot of work to have to be able to do that. Okay, the front decks uh, on these buildings, uh, of course, are t uh, paving stones. We've had to put in the treated lumber around to, uh, to hold them, keep them intact. But you can see here where they are starting to come apart. And uh, it takes quite a bit of work. We've actually replaced uh, one of the girls' dorms uh, steps. We had to completely replace it because it had gone uh, completely rotted out. Uh, this right here is deteriorating this has become so brittle that we've had to put this uh, glued um, stuff on here to, to hold this uh, edge together so it doesn't fall this doesn't fall completely off and then of course we've been using shoe goo here to glue some of this on in here and then the screens have all come off the threading of all has all come out of the uh, out of here so we've had to use this shoe goo to long in here to glue these the screens back on you see here some of the thread here how it's all it's all rotted and that's stuff that that's what's happened here see there's a the threading right there it's all rotted out and then this all come loose in here and then the damage that and then this uh, the vinyl here uh, let's get real close up here and look at the vinyl see the vinyl is how it's discolored it's real brittle I could actually put my finger through the vinyl there, and here's an idea of how the glue is, uh, how this has been working there on that. And you see here some of the, here's the, the patch that's come loose. Honor, uh, mice can get in the, inside the dorm here. Here's another example of the vinyl that we bought. These are vinyl tarps. We bought four vinyl tarps at $800 a piece to cover the dorms up, to, just to extend the life of them as much as we possibly can. Even even the this wrap that we've got on here uh, it won't last. It, it, it's deteriorating. See, it's coming apart there. And this is the second time we've put this on, trying to extend the life of this uh, of this material here. So, okay. How much life do you think these dorms have left in them? None. There is no life left in them. Uh, we are always patching and fixing. They have lasted way beyond anything that we ever possibly thought that they would. Uh, because the vinyl underneath these covers have rotted completely out. And so this is just a temporary cover for us at this point, uh, trying to get uh, to the point where we can raise the money to be able to build uh, the permanent structure for the, uh, the dorms. How much is needed to build the new structures? Uh, we need 200,000, 100,000 for the girls' side and 100,000 for the boys' side. So we need a total of 200,000 for the two structures that we're building. So this strap here's come loose. See how it's come off? It slipped off up there. So we're going to need to re readjust this strap here. Uh... 
for it. Okay, one of the uh, other things that we noticed about these buildings, they're not, uh, they're not rodent proof. And you can see down here where rodents have gotten in and have chewed the plastic off and started chewing through the uh, vinyl uh, that's covering the building. So outside of the dorms, you'll notice uh, that along here where the, the plastic, the liner that we put on here to protect, to keep the water away, and the, they've chewed a hole in here and, and uh, where they're getting in the, underneath the building. Uh, and then on the end of the building here, you see that our straps are gone uh, off here. And then the, notice the doors are being damaged here. And then here, uh, the, the vinyl is so brittle that we've had to actually had to use the shoe goo to patch these holes here. And right here, and then up here, where there's holes that have been uh, uh, poked in the, in the vinyl. The vinyl is, a, uh, is getting real brittle uh, here. And then on this dorm here, uh, because the vinyl was so bad, we actually had to take the tarp that we bought and we had to screw it down with a, with a, with a strap, screw it into the metal framing here to hold this uh, dorm in place. Uh, this was the worst of the dorms. It fell apart, but the vinyl here this vinyl right here has completely uh, come apart on this on this dorm. Yeah, we had a windstorm that came through and uh, and tore the vinyl off of this building here and completely stripped uh, down. We nearly lost this building uh, because of the wind that uh, ripped the uh, vinyl off the building. See how brittle that vinyl is? I can actually just tear it. It just tears right off. And that's the part of the in, in interior structure that's actually poking through. We can see here that the door doesn't fit very well anymore because the building has moved in such a way and it's letting moisture come in. And if you notice here, the floor is actually rotted out. We've had to replace the flooring and uh, and actually the dorm floors, the floors are giving out and they're not holding up. Uh, they're not impervious to moisture. And uh, of course they're, they're, they're rotting out and they need to be, there's no point in replacing the floors uh, given the fact that the whole building needs to be replaced. Uh, one of the other things that really helps is that we've got a, a lot of volunteers that come to help at this camp. Uh, we are very appreciative of those who come uh, to help here uh, with uh, with us here. They help us with the building projects and they help us uh, with the camps and they help us with the kids that are coming to camp uh, and, uh, and adults too. Of course, we're not just a youth camp. We are also a, a retreat facility that ministers to both uh, children and adults. And we've been blessed by that. Uh, this summer, one of our bigger groups this summer had 260 or 70, 270 uh, people that came uh, here and uh, we're very blessed by the fact that the, the camp is being used as much as it has. 20 years ago when I came to this camp, we were a, a one, three weeks in the year and we were done. Now we operate uh, potentially throughout the year, uh, especially through the summer. We run from uh, June 1st to clear this year, clear up into September uh, with the uh, camps and different groups that come in here. So we're very blessed by the fact that God has opened this camp up so that we can minister to our local uh, communities and uh, and around the area. We're very thankful for that. Okay, uh, back in uh, 1983, the camp started in this location, and of course the kitchen was the first uh, building built, and then they had tents at that time, which deteriorated uh, a few years after this was all set up here, and this picture was actually taken. Uh, you can see, uh, camp has gone a long ways uh, from 1983 until uh, here in 2018. Uh, we want to expand into our new dorms, uh, which uh, this uh, plan here, this floor plan that we see here, there's four different rooms uh, here that can be uh, uh, shut off. We can open the doors and or open the side. These are sliders here uh, that we can have. That'll give us five different uh, uh, bedding areas, if you will. Uh, there, of course, this is this will be heated, 
and uh, this expands our ministry uh, beyond uh, our youth uh, ministry. We can actually have uh, a couple's retreats, uh, uh, family camps. We can house a fam house a family in each one of these. Uh, as you can see here, the pods we call them. The amount of money that we're trying to raise on this is uh, 100,000 for each unit. Uh, one of these will serve the, the boys' side, and one will serve the girls' side of the, of the campus. This is a model here of uh, the uh, of this structure here that we've made. So, and of course, we have the three or the four uh, rooms plus the activity room here, and then the entry here, uh, which would be closed in and uh, heated. This whole building will be heated, and they really expands our ministry up for. A winter type use, which we are still doing winter use, but we're limited because of, of uh, CD or, uh, bed capacity for our winter activities. This will expand our winter act activity and actually will double our winter activity uh, by building uh, these two units here. Uh, right now we are actually using these, uh, these uh, hot water heater. Uh, there's 140 gallons of water in here. We run, we pump hot water through the floor of this dorm uh, to heat the dorm, uh, and we're very grateful for that to be able to do that. We are going to enter, uh, put this in the new dorms. Uh, these uh, units here are very effective. They will work real well in heating the new dorms. So we don't have well, as you can see, we need new dorms, and we need them really badly. Uh, our dorms are falling apart, and our plan for our new dorms uh, will do a lot for our camp. It's going to do amazing things for our ministry, and there's two specific ways that you can help us out. One, we need your donations. Uh, we've only raised about $30,000 and we need $200,000 to build two buildings at $100,000 a piece. Um, but the most important thing you can do for us is to pray. Uh, we need your prayers. We need your prayer support, um, not just for our dorms, but that's a big need right now, but also for our camps. Um, our main goal here is to reach people kids and adults alike with the gospel of Jesus Christ and uh, you can help us by supporting us with your prayers and with your donations so please go to mountaintopretreat.com and make a donation there or you can come visit us sometime and chat with us and let us know uh, how you can offer your help.